I hope nothing falls. <laughs> uh, so, hi. I guess welcome to my sketchbook tour. This is the first one I've ever had, actually. I've come back to drawing after years of just not even picking up a pencil. I started this sketchbook on the 30th of September 2020 and finished it a couple of days ago. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this is a sticker from Natasha Kura. She's a really cool artist. I would really recommend you to check her out. Before starting the sketchbook, I uh, <laughs> I did some drawings and uh, gouache paintings before, and um, they will be glued in like somewhere on the pages, like along the way, where I just I guess I didn't draw and <laughs> I had some space left. I don't really like to go back, and. Yeah, I wanted to make this sketchbook fuller. I started with some uh, studies. Why am I so stressed? Like, what the fuck? Most of those were just copied from Pinterest. Uh, this is my cactus. <laughs> Jesus fucking This is from a photo I took while I was on a walk, I guess. I really like the scenery. I just love looking at clouds whenever I'm outside. They're just so always too pretty. Just a drawing of Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. I don't even know what I was doing half the, half of the time. <laughs> Some comfort page I copied basically all of this from some photos I found on the internet. I really enjoy drawing scores. I just wanted to cover something up, so I put all of those sticky notes here and just drew random leaf leaves, I guess. This also is a cover up some portraits with um, new pencils I got then. This is Mushroom Girl, she's I guess my OC, but not really. She has like minimal amounts of story and she just kind of exists. I think this is one of the two times I drew her. I just create things and I never use them again. I draw them once and that's it. Some shoes because I realized I have no idea how feet work. Also something covered up. Just 
I am not precious with my sketchbook at all. I drew some random shit. I felt like drawing. Those were root studies, somewhat. Can you not drive while I'm recording, please? <laughs> and I just had this idea. I was inspired by some artist. I don't remember the name at all. These were like supposed to be some roots and uh, moon. The idea was great. I really like it, but I don't like how I drew it. But it's okay, I guess. I don't hate it. It was really fun. Some wing studies and something inspired by, I guess, like Vivica Angels, Seraphim. Wings are really fun to draw. Some play do plague doctors. These were all also like copied from photos. These were all studies from this drawing I had an idea for earlier. Yeah, I wanted to learn how to draw furries. I still don't know how to draw anthropomorphic animals. I really like this cut and this one. These two were studies from some other artists. I don't remember the names and I don't know if I can find them. This is from an Kayurova, I think. I found them on Art Station. And this is from Sofia Erofiva. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong. <coughs> if I can find them, I will leave a link in the description. I really like their artwork and I guess I just wanted to copy that sort of and i think i learned something from it or maybe not anyway it was fun <coughs> i really like this drawing i know that uh, the foreshortening here is not good at all but whatever i had a really bad day and just needed to draw Some more studies from Pinterest, I guess. I got colored pencils and I drew Moxie from Hell of a Boss. Uh, here I started practice and studies from a drawing of Stolas. <laughs> this is also fan art. Here are more studies. This is the general idea I had. You can't really see much, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I drew with a 2H pencil, so it's not really that visible. Some random purple page. I copied this from a uh, an envelope I got from a friend, I guess. And uh, this is the final fan art. I really like it. I don't know why I left this this blank. I guess nothing deserved to be with stars on one page. I started planning and drawing. I really like this idea, I <laughs> and I still have not done anything with it. I just planned all of this. I stacked those in later, and uh, that's it. That's all I ever did with that idea. I st I still want to draw it, but I <laughs> I don't know if I will honestly. <laughs> I 
I was really angry. <laughs> this is just a reminder to myself and maybe other people too, to just have fun. Don't worry about uh, how the drawings look. Just draw for the sake of it and, you know, have fun creating new stuff. Uh, this says, uh, draw badly, but have good fun. Fuck you, that's why. <coughs> Some bees. This is a really empty page, but it's, it's fine. This was all from Pinterest. This was for a friend. <coughs> Some black skull. It's really cool. Gay raccoons. That's it. Hi. This is from NG Cat Neko. I also found this on Art Station. I will try to find it again. <laughs> A little gouache painting. Uh, this is a quote from Lovecraft in a made-up alphabet. I have no idea what it says. I don't remember. I don't know where I have the whole alphabet. <laughs> I don't know. It's just there. I wanted to have some text. And this is a drawing inspired by that quote. <laughs> Whatever it says, it's really cool. I I really like it. Some random stuff. Headless person. A really sad gesture with no arms because I didn't feel like drawing arms that day. I don't know what that is. This is just a brain fart. This was inspired by some Dark Souls boss, I think. I have never even played Dark Souls, but I love the aesthetic. And this is the time where I got an idea for Dark Souls inspired like bosses. Uh, <laughs> LGBT flags made into Dark Souls inspired bosses. Yes, that's it. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, so these are just some concept sketches. I honestly did just three of them. I don't even have an idea for another flag. And those are studies for my persona. Yeah. Those are really cool dresses. I would love to wear one of them. This is from Elia D0M. I don't know. Uh, on DeviantArt. And this is from the Verdant Hair. Also on DeviantArt. Can you please stop driving by? <laughs> And this is a plague doctor rat. <laughs> Vent art. My dysphoria got really bad one day. And this is a really cool vampire. I saw a post on Instagram. I don't remember the name of the person. Uh, <clears throat> that was describing like actual uh, vampire Steve, like vampire bats. And I thought that would just be a really cool idea to have like vampires with scarifications and with this type of teeth. I really like the expression here and the hair. I generally can't draw hair, but this is really cool. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's not that good, but it was an idea that like popped into my head when I saw an abandoned house. I just had a thought that my mind is like an abandoned house. I have no idea what that means. 
But that's it. That's the idea. <laughs> My brain is a shit post. Example number one. Uh, <clears throat> this is when I watched Anna for the first time and I painted it on my nails. And this is generally what happens when you coat an entire nail in acrylic paint, it just like peels off. So I don't know why, but I decided to stick it into my sketchbook because why not? People have their peely bags and I have a peely in my sketchbook. <laughs> and this is my fursona, their name is Mallow. Yeah, that's it, those are some really cool cloud shorts uh, Mallow is a can you stop shaking <laughs> uh, Mallow is a uh, demonic Siberian mask deer because why not they have really cool fangs this is a Jo de Sinue style from like before I started the sketchbook this was supposed to be a sketch of my void sauna because I uh, I got into void punk and I really just enjoyed the entire idea and uh, yeah I don't know why but like I got discouraged okay so now uh, I can see here um, I had an idea of drawing uh, reverse furries uh, so just prepare for really really cursed shit if you can even see it yeah you can <laughs> this is just a cat uh, this was i just called them like animal skin saunas because it makes it even more cursed <laughs> when I posted it, uh, like in a Discord server, people were asking, like, what the fuck do I have in my head, and uh, what just? Why did I even decide to do this? Uh, this is a cat. This was supposed to be some fantasy creature. It has four ears, some spikes, and whatever. This is a bat. It, it looks awful. <laughs> and this is a horse girl. <laughs> as as awful as that is, it's it was really fun to draw. <laughs> Just uh, thinking about like how can I make this animal shaped human sort of i took a break from cursed stuff and uh, drew these birds with four legs this was a deer uh, these two in my opinion are just the worst <laughs> i would really like to take uh, this and make it into a like fully rendered digital painting it would look even worse. I think this was a rabbit. This is just awful. <laughs> yes. I drew some bodies from Pinterest. And as with literally every single idea I have, maybe except for those reverse furries i draw two things and then i move on <laughs> those are some bubble cherries a cat with a propeller hat i don't know why but i drew this mug <laughs> this is a mouse or a rat mixed with a deer and this is the best uh, <coughs> species of octopus you can ever find i don't know how you pronounce it but <coughs> i think it's called an umbrella octopus 
It was like ear things. And I also drew a cat. I don't know, I just want to develop a like cuter, simpler art style for things that think that Jesus fucking Christ can I speak? No. <laughs> for things like this. <laughs> I decided to draw some random Muslim woman. I can draw hair, so I guess drawing a, hi a hijab was a really good idea. <laughs> I thought I don't really see that many like little people. People? People? <laughs> I thought I didn't really see like that many little people in art, so I decided to draw the shirt that says be gay to crimes because be gay to crimes uh, this is a event art i really like the hair it was fun it got all my negative feelings out uh, this is from so far kid on divin art i don't know why always when i copy something it just comes out squished um, those are some like random drawings from prompts I got on a just like a prompt generator website. They were done straight with pens. I really like this adventure chicken. And this is a long Furby because it everyone is one in their life. I <laughs> I saw Strange Eons do another, like, make another one of her children. The one with um, the four arms. I just really want a long Furby, but they are so expensive. <laughs> so in, I drew one instead. I, I really like this. I'm bored of my art style. Uh, so I wanted to study and copy from another artist. Or the plan was to just <laughs> study other artists, plural. I did one. It's a Keith Ten on ArtStation. I will try to link all of them somewhere. Uh, I had an idea. Uh, that was inspired by some post on Tumblr. So I did these little thumbnails. I still haven't finished it. I have this last panel to, left to draw and I just need to do some text and like rendering and whatever. <clears throat> I have to finish it because it's really, it's a really good idea, I think. I started watching My Little Pony. I had an idea. That's it. That's the idea. I don't know why, but like before even thinking about watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I had a really, really big face on of watching um, <laughs> My Little Pony Gore Speed Paints. <laughs> they were really cool. So I did this like very minimal gore is it even gore? I don't know it's rarity with uh, rainbow dashes wings it's blank pony and a another drawing from a prompt a cynical shopkeeper with a particular interest in wild animals a jewel mermaid or mer person rather. Ideas for pride drawings. Uh, this is a pinup trans girl. I did two drawings. Yeah. 
One is a trans girl pinup and another one is a trans guy pinup. But exporting the second one just completely ruined the, the entire drawing. I had really nicely rendered, like, really dark, dark skin. <laughs> and exporting it just ruined everything. I'm so sad, but <laughs> it's such a good drawing. If I remember, maybe I will just, like, show it somewhere here. This is a hand person with two right hands. Yeah, I think they are right. <laughs> and one left one. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I always mess up the side on which uh, the thumb is supposed to be. I, I should draw the thumb on the wrong side, always. I had to correct this hand, but I didn't notice that this one is also wrong. So I da, da, da. I just left it like that. I'm not going over it again. The Max. And this is something that got created by <laughs> Pause It, uh, just glitching. And I had an idea of this. It's it's not what I wanted it to be. Also, I hate the hair. <laughs> I don't like it. It's it's bad. But maybe I will revisit the idea and make it what I wanted to be originally. But for now, we have this a really long person. Hair studies, because I figured that well, I can't draw hair. <laughs> Why are there so many cars? Anyway, <laughs> I rewatched Ina and wanted to make my own Ina Sona. This is just a concept. I <laughs> I want to actually design the character. I drew a random frog. I drew Anna. And <laughs> Anna is my gender envy. That's it. I, I just want what she has. <laughs> I know that canonically she's a woman, but I I, I don't care. I had canon her as non-binary and I just want that. <laughs> Another Anna. And some random drawings from prompts I guess just a random cup of coffee this is a person with a lollipop eye and an eye lollipop in my mind uh, this is an actual lollipop just shaped like an eye and this is an actual eye just it looks like a lollipop, I guess. This is copied from Afternoon Fika. I don't know where from. <laughs> I don't know where I found it. And here is a little ghost, but you can... Oh no, no, you can see him a little bit. It's really cool. And then I did some scribbles and tried to make drawings out of them. This is a really fun creativity exercise and just... When you have art block, this is generally a good idea. This is really fun. And I got two ideas for like other drawings from this. And then I drew an angel. Because... I'm obsessed with like biblically, biblically accurate angels. Some more hair studies. These were from references. Here I just try to do something on my own. It's, I mean, it's hair. And that's the end. I also have a little pocket here with 
this uh, those were very much inspired by um, Eastberg illustrations on Tumblr and to generate the idea of um, Eldritch changes. Yeah, that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you, I guess, next time, whenever I either finish my next sketchbook or just decide to do something else. Bye! <laughs>